Hi class, I wanted to talk today about um, document size and canvas size and some user interface buttons here I wanted to define for you guys. So uh, first off, let's, let me load this rifle I've got in my tool tray there. Press T, get into edit mode. Um, look at the difference between the zoom. When I click and drag on zoom, it moves my canvas away from the viewport. And when I click and drag on scale, it moves the camera away. So that's an important distinction. We can rotate our camera, we can pan, um, we can press kind of zoom extents on the sub tool that's selected. Um, and let's compare that to zooming the canvas, pressing um, actual, which fills up all this space, um, and then scrolling our canvas, and then pressing half, which is half the size. So. Um, that's really important for you guys to understand the difference between the two. And let's not forget perspective here. It's always best to um, sculpt anatomy and organic structures in perspective rather than orthographic. All right, so let me bring your attention up here to document. And let's talk about this number here, 1120 by 840. Why did it come up with that number? Well, that is what resolution this monitor that I'm sitting in front of uh, recorded when ZBrush started. So I'll press document, new document, and no, I don't want to save those. And let's go look at that number again, 1120 by 840, right? And I'll zoom away from that. And what if you wanted to export higher resolution images out of ZBrush? And we do that by coming up here, maybe type in 2048, 2048, Notice I have constrained proportions turned off. And I press resize and let's zoom out a little bit. You can see it's a perfectly square um, canvas now and it's quite, hard, it's quite high in its resolution. Let me drag in my tool here. Press T. I've got this rifle I made a while ago. And now when I export this, I go to document, export, uh, export this. PSD file, I've now saved a 2048 by 2048 PSD. So that's going to kind of help me get the higher resolution images that I want to create game textures and portfolio pieces, etc. So another question that comes up pretty frequently is this gradient in the background. How do I control that? That's also up here in document. Um, this background is the document background color. And that color is, if I click this button right here, it's going to detect this main color. So let me change this to something a little bit more sensible and go document back. And notice it changes that. But what about the gradient? Um, that's the range here. And I'll reduce that down to zero. And now we've got that flat RGB color that we defined right here. So once again, uh, back picks up the main color and range is the gradient. I'll just adjust that so you can see. All right. I uh, hope that helps. Keep watching.